Hello everyone, welcome to my first 4K video. Uh, you won't see any watermarks uh, on the video because I'm not there yet. I need to do some adaptation of all my files that I use for my video. And I also set up the manual focus. I don't have any cameraman, so I hope it's okay. So we'll see the result, but if it's online, it's probably okay. Um, here's an update about the open spot. I've been using it for the last uh, few days uh, and this weekend and it's working very well. And in this update, first thing, I told you that when you want to connect to the interface, you just plug it into your network and you type open spot into your browser. But what you need to do is type open spot dot local. If it doesn't work, just connect the power cable, the micro USB cable, instead of plugging it into the power pack, plug it to your computer. Anyway, if you want to do the firmware upgrade, you will need to do this. And when it's powered from a computer, try again openspot.local. So maybe that's going to work. Just in case that your network, for some reason, one of my PC was actually, actually doing a search on Google while I type openspot in the address uh, because there was no .com or something. So if you have any issue, just type openspot.local. Uh, there is uh, no AMB chip into this device. So actually doing the conversion between DRM and Fusion because they're using 6.25 kilohertz uh, bandwidth for digital narrow and on the time slot of DMR. That's why the voice wipe doesn't work like I demonstrate in my other video. So, and there is no Wi-Fi adapter. I know they're working on one, but you can get those small router. I, I got one somewhere. I will find it and try it. There is some little router that you can get that is very small and it has a RG45 and you can use it as this device as um, a router, a local router, or you can use it as a Wi-Fi hotspot to RG45 and it's worth about $10 so uh, maybe that will do the job. I will try to do some tests this week about this and show you the result. Uh, but for me in the shack, uh, I'm using it wired so it's not an issue. But if you want to use it mobile, maybe it will be more complicated. So the next test I will do is try to do IP to IP with two open spots. I know that Andy, Andy 6 charlie Bill W1KFR and Bill KC8YQL did some tests about this. I know there's only one connection at a time. That's mean you got one station having an open spot and the other an open spot. They connect directly to IP, so it give you them a point to point. But what happens is that when there's a third party that try to come in, it will disconnect the other. So that's what they told me that happened when you uh, they are doing this. So I know that Shark RF may be working on something that will permit point to point. So if you look at this device differently, this could be a good way to link uh, repeaters uh, together so and a simple way to do it so we have to give it that a thought in, in the future so we'll see so on behalf of our team i would like to wish you my best 70 trees